Okay, play. my player is injured and these guys are telling me to... Oh my god, this is the worst thing to ever happen. Like, I was not expecting this to ever happen. Holy shit. What's up guys, it's Zed and this is episode 12 of the FIFA 22 Creative Club career mode with Conrad Zan. Now as you guys can see we're in excellent form, we have 19 goals in 14 games and if you guys haven't watched the previous episode you should definitely go check it out because they're actually really really fun. I mean apart from the ones where we're in SC Braga but you get the gist. Now this is what our stats look like, we've been in 3 clubs, yeah. We haven't won any trophies, well we won a the Super Cup in Dortmund, I don't know why that isn't reflecting here but that's one trophy under our belts we have scored 53 goals in 56 appearances and the highest goal scorer in the world is ronaldo with 794 goals i don't know if that's what it is as of now that i'm recording this video but it's definitely going to keep going higher and higher but our goal is to be the highest scorer in the world we want to climb that ladder as much as possible and we also want to surpass um the german legend gerd muller he has, uh, I think, 735 goals. I think that should be our, like, second, like, our main, sorry, our, our secondary goal. Then the primary, the primary goal is the, is to be the highest goal scorer in the world. The crazy thing is that we are still in October of the second season. That means that there's, like, a lot of time for us to reach, maybe, 80 goals or something by the end of the season i i really hope we actually smash that premier league record and i actually want to reach 100 goals by next season that's going to be the fastest i think how the hell did this thing go back down to a cf like come on and i think that is one of the reasons that our thing keeps dropping yes yeah, it dropped all the way back down there because wow that, that actually sucks a lot it dropped all all the way back down there because for some reason this thing changed to the cf position and oh well like i said in the previous episode i'm not going to be playing this match so i'm just going to jump to the results here and do we get a goal no we don't volant scores the goal after and see the annoying part is that we now have to work our way up into the starting 11 I'm, again i'm not going to play this match i'm just going to use the training to do that that means we're actually going to drop on a lot of goals. We draw this match. I, th I think one crazy thing is that we haven't lost a match ever since we joined Burnley. Like, I haven't seen Burnley lose a match, to be honest. Alright, next up is the Arsenal match. It's nil-nil. And we're coming in the 78 minutes. Let's see if Conrad can actually do something for Burnley once again. Alright, so that's his new haircut. I forgot to talk about that. And we're supposed to get a match rating of 7. Score at least one goal and get at least... One goal or says, okay, these two are actually kind of the same. So I'm just going to enhance this one right here. And I actually hate that these jerseys are clashing right now. It's not supposed to be clashing this bad, to be honest. And I actually don't even know who I'm supposed to pass to. I have to, like, look twice before I make a move. That was actually really hard, to be honest. Mastery of the passing game. And simple for the keeper. Ten minutes to go then. Zan. Oh, a nice looking pass. And a goal! At this stage of the game, it might be decisive. And just look at their supporters. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great... Time and the scoreline against Arsenal. But still, they're in this. And a wonderful diving save to deny the opportunity. A corner then, and with time running out, they've got to ask questions. What a save! So there goes the final whistle and assist. All right, so that's the match there. We got the assist. We're able to get the goal. So I think we got all three of the matches' objectives. If All three of the manager's objectives, if I'm not wrong. 
But I'm really, really, really liking this new hairstyle that he has there. Oh, we actually didn't get the one that said we should score. But, I mean, that doesn't really matter. We already have, like, a lot of goals under our belt. And it, it kind of sucks that we aren't going to be able to, like, start matches. Because that's really want, what I want in this Burnley team. But, I mean, we're gradually getting up there. Very soon we'll be, you know, starting again. I think this match we're going to have more play time because we're almost at the starting 11 part of that bar up there. And it's against Arsenal again. It's quite annoying. And one more thing I forgot to talk about was the new kicks that he has. He actually got a, a deal with Nike for boots, <laughs> you know. So, you know, he's just dripped out right now, you know, getting ready for the next match. All right, we're coming in. At the 56 minutes, we have like a lot of time on our hands to get at least a goal or an assist or two goals, who knows. And I wouldn't be shocked if it's a hat-trick he gets, to be honest. I mean, it's Conrad Zan, but let's not get ahead of ourselves right now. We're supposed to get a 7.5 match rating, um, complete five passes in the opponent's half, and then score at least one goal from outside the box. Okay, let's enhance the, the one in the middle. Oh my god, and I forgot to change the freaking... Kits again, crap. <sighs> it's just great. Well, that is how to run at defenders, but quick thinking defensively. Well, they might be onto something. Now the task is to remain focused and fired against the crossbar. Well read to put an end to that attack. Good Munson. Can he put it away? Well, he had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. Well, here we can see... Ten minutes to go, then. McNeil. Zan. Good one, son. Well, they're eyeing that final pass, you just feel. This looks more than decent. Oh, good hit. Close shave. Payet. Is it going to end up being productive? He's in here. Not out of the woods yet. Really vital interception here. task with taking the corner what late excitement and the match is level well here's another look at it certainly delivery into the box couldn't have been any better and it's a comfortable finish in the end which is made to look so easy it's a lovely goal this comes to an end i must say i enjoyed it i trust you did as well Stuart. and we have a replay coming up now well, it was a great game, wasn't it? Chances and goals... The fact that we're actually going to a replay is really my fault because I had three clear-cut chances and for some reason, I flunked all three of them. I mean, <laughs> I was talking about a hat-trick. I guess I just came into this match with a lot of confidence and it was just a lot... It was just too much for a for an 18-year-old. And, well, we don't, we don't get any of the manager's uh, objectives and that is actually really bad. This is actually our worst performance in Burnley. We still haven't lost a match in this team. So there's that. But, I mean, other than that, I mean, I mean, I mean we did really, really bad in this match, to be honest. I mean, we, we held the ball a couple of times. We held possession. And, well, it just wasn't enough, to be honest. All right, up next is the match against AFC Bournemouth. And we're leading them 2-0. We're coming in as an RC. <laughs> what the fuck? We are coming in as an RCM. That's a first. All right, so we've gone two matches in this episode and we haven't scored a goal. So let's see what we can do here. We're supposed to get a match rating of seven, get at least one goal or assist and score at least one goal. So we need we need to do something in this match. We're already leading 2-0, so it's not really all that important for us to score. But it's, it's going to help us in our journey to getting to that highest scorer in the world mark. I mean, we still have a lot of years to go, but... 
Smith. Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. Zan. He might be able to profit from the wide position. Opportunity here. There's the goal. Surely now that is that. Well, let's look at this again. He's done superbly well to pick out a teammate here. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. Right, just hearing a goal has gone in at Anfield. Let's get the details from Alex. And if... He's in with a chance. And there it is. A goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. Victor Klasson. Dangerous looking through ball. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Firing it towards goal. Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. Zan being pressed and pressed high applying vigorous pressure in it goes it looked as though they were down and out not a bit of it what will happen next well let's take another look because this is a special goal he's so far out when he strikes it he couldn't have hit that any better well the game has been re so there <laughs> all right so I don't even know what to say because I basically just gave them the last goal and even though how the hell did Nick Pope not catch that because the thing literally crawled into the post and well we gave an assist to our teammates and the other team and the other team so I mean there's that we're that good and we have gone a little further down and to be honest I don't even know how we want to do this because we're supposed to be in the starting 11 and Whatever the fuck just happened there when we like automatically switched to a CF and when I wanted to change it back, the sub rating just went all the way down. Well, I think that actually fucked us. Alright, so next up is the match against Chelsea. We're coming in as a striker this time, thank God, as in the 75th minute. So let's hope that we can at least get a goal in this match because we are desperately looking for a goal. I think it's the shoes. I think it's the shoes that's making us not score. <laughs> we may actually have to go back to our new balance. I was supposed to get a match rating of 7.0, score at least one goal from outside the box, and have a dribble success rate of 35, and we're enhancing that to 40. That's like the easiest one yet. And we're able to get the goal. So I'll talk to you guys after this match means we join Alex Scott. It's his second goal for Manchester City. It's now 2-1 with 77 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. High echelon goalkeeping there. <laughs> well, the short corner routine. And he takes it on. Still could be dangerous. Well, they still have designs on the win. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been foiled. How pivotal could that be at this stage of the game? Well, it was a good save, but that was the chance to win the game there. That could be their last opportunity. Firing is in. The crossbar got in the way. 86 minutes on the clock. Cheers, Alex. And a goal at this stage could be decisive. He's got to score! Oh, they've done it! They forged ahead, and it might be the goal that gives them victory. Well, here it is again, and the way they've been playing, that was always going to happen. They've certainly been piling on the pressure here. It's on Chelsea to be positive with time running out. 
Kevin Long. And there it is. All right, so we did win that match in the end. It was <laughs> again we were involved in the attack, even though we didn't make the assist. We also haven't scored, so I actually have no idea what's happening. We do get the match rating objective, and that was basically all that we did. I think our our dribble success rate, we got that one too. I mean, we always get that. If we didn't get that, that would have that been so crazy. Yeah, we did. So we got both of the match objectives, and we also get the man of the match. I actually have no idea what we did in that match, but I mean... Oh yeah, we hit the crossbar. We hit the crossbar. Shit. Actually, I think there's something off with these boots, to be honest. I mean, I'm, I'm going to give them one more try. If we don't score in this match, I'm definitely changing the boots. Alright, we just reached level 19. And we unlocked the last slot for this for the um perk. So, let's see which one that I actually want. Precision pass. Increase the player's normal passing accuracy and speed. Okay, I really don't need passing right now. Uh, hot streak shooting attributes boosted for a short time after you score a goal grants you the finish shots outside foot shots and power header treats okay that sounds like it's really good clutch finisher increases your shooting attributes during the last 15 minutes and extra time grants the finish shots outside foot shot and power header treats i think this one is actually really good this one is actually really good this um clutch finisher because I mean, I think I'm just going to use that. If I if 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 it's not that big a deal, I might actually swap it out for something else. I have no idea what, but for now I'm going to be using that. So I have all three of the perks complete, and well, this should be good. Yo, you guys, I'm so I'm so lost because I have no idea how. The ratings dropped that low because between the chelsea match and the ireland match there isn't really that much time it's only one train you i can do and it didn't show up and for some reason it went all the way down so i have absolutely no idea why that happened and yeah we're coming in so late in this match i guess that perk is going to work now so we actually have to find a way to fight back into the first team because we aren't scoring goals and we actually just doing so bad i have no idea why this is happening to be honest all right so our match rating is 7.0 score at least one goal and complete three passes in the opponent's half i'm going to enhance this last one and let's actually hope we score a goal in this match i mean germany is our good luck charm so we absolutely have to score it in germany well i thought that was the game fantastic work by the keeper just to keep them in this Can they create something from here? He'll take this on. Well, a really important a chance for him to get in behind, maybe. And the keeper diving to thwart him. Now, well, this forthcoming corner might just do it. Could be the last chance to hit the front in the dying moments. And the substitution will occur now. Insufficient guile from that corner. Keeper's ball. And inside the final minute now. Well, that pass easy on the eye. Oh, can you believe it? With so little time left, surely that will be the winner. Amazing scenes here. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. And now it is true. Alright, that was actually scary because I was really thinking that we weren't going to score there. Actually, I actually lost confidence in in his shooting for a second. But we're able to I mean he was able to surprise me with that goal. I mean he was supposed to score that, no doubt. He was also supposed to score in the other matches that we played, but we haven't for some reason. But we finally scored in this match and we win it for Germany once again. So our our run of form in Germany is still really good. But it's only one kind of rate 
of manager rating there is and that's sad okay we get two out of the three um objectives and we actually also get the man of the match award because we got the winner for germany once again I am actually so confused and I'm actually going to put that there because the 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 match rating does jump all the way up to the starting level and I have zero clue how this is happening. And one other thing is we are third in the league and if we win this match against Leicester City, we're going to jump all the way up to the uh, second position. That is if Manchester City lose their match and they're away against Fulham so they're most likely going to win it and the most shocking of all is Aston Villa is first <laughs> that's actually quite funny because we are 11 games into the season Aston Villa is first in the league well I mean kudos to them they're definitely not winning it as long as I'm in Burnley to be honest so when we catch them we're going to we have already played them I'm, I'm not sure if we have but when we catch them I'm gonna fuck him up all right so an angel from heaven has come down and we were giving a chance to start in this match and we're going to take it to be honest this this is also going to be the last match in the episode because i i don't want this episode to be all that long and it shouldn't really be so i'll talk to you guys after this match is over the camera's locked on jamie vardy in wonderful form, can he add to his goal-scoring haul today on EA TV? Hello and welcome to the northwest of England. The venue for this match is Turf Moor. I'm Derek Ray and delighted to have Stuart... Okay, our match objectives are to get an 8.5 rating, complete five passes in the opponent's half and take four shots on target. We're going to enhance this one in the middle here and... Well, I'll talk to you guys after this match is over. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive. Well, for Burnley, just what they wanted a win last time out against Chelsea. What do you expect on this occasion, Stuart? Well, I thought it was an early goal. It is the ideal opening. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. These teams at the moment. Let's hope I'm right. Oh, blocked it! Let's get the latest on the... In he's in with a chance. Well, you have to say, he's going to be very cross with himself. He's in position. And return to Vardy. Oh, a good diving save. McNeil. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Oh, moving it nicely. This could be the equaliser. And it is the equaliser. Well, now, that could be a huge turning point in this game. They carry the momentum. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? Well, that's tight, really tight. But he was just too anxious to make his run. He was in, though. Cork. Just failing to hit the target. Good effort, though. Moving it forward. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. But then the one that fails to hit its target. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Will they profit from this situation? McNeil. Can't miss, surely. And a goal! That's his brace. They just can't keep him quiet. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. These are coming thick and fast. It should be a good game, that. Hopefully, I've not just given it the commentator's curse. Oh, that's an interesting pass. And collected tidily. He had plenty Here's to... Tielemans. Useful-looking position, you've got to say. 
Could be. And the keeper's delighted to see that sail. Well, just a minute to go. Difficult to stop him. But ultimately, up a cul-de-sac. James Madison. And played the pass well. And the cross is very much on. Okay, my player is injured and these guys are telling me to... Oh my god. This is the worst thing to ever happen. Like, I was not expecting this to ever happen. Holy shit. Just imagine it's an 8 month injury. Crap, he landed on his knee. It really could be anything. <sighs> okay. We do end, it was just 19 minutes, so it was so close to the end of the match. Oh, I have no idea why my player is sitting down there when he's, <laughs> when he's injured, but I actually would like to know how long he's injured for. Maybe it's not really a serious injury, I hope. I, I really hope, or there just isn't a cutscene for when you get injured. Alright, we got, <laughs> we got injured for 5 freaking months. Nah, that is crazy. We're going to be match fit in 148 days. That is a really, really huge blow to our to our goal, to be honest. At the beginning of this episode, I said I wanted to reach around 80 goals by the end of the season. And that's just not possible because five months, five months will get us to, five months will get us to April. That means it's in April that we're going to come back in this team. And that is, that sucks so much. Alright, so they say Burnley confirms down to miss five months with ACL injury. I think that is ankle cruciate ligament. Oh, the A is probably for something else. I have no idea what it is. But, I mean, this hurts. This hurts. It actually hurts. So, anyway, this is the end of the episode. What an end to the episode. If you guys did enjoy the video, we finally got our goal in the end of the episode. And we also got injured. So, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.